Last time I showed you how to make this inflatable text in Adobe Illustrator, and today I'm going to show you how to recreate this in Adobe Dimension to make it look photorealistic. Okay, so first I'm going to start in Adobe Illustrator, and I'm going to go with this composition as a background. If you want to know how I made this composition, you can find it on my Patreon page. I'm going to leave a link in the description. And let's go and export this as a PNG first. So let's go to the file, export, export S, type it in background, and make sure to select PNG, and also make sure to check Use Artboards. Click Export. Here you can set up the resolution of the image, and click OK. Next, we're going to prepare the text here in Illustrator, and I'm going to select a lighter color for it. And all you need to do is go to the 3DM materials, apply the inflate settings, increase the depth to zero, and make sure to check inflate both sides. You don't need to apply any other settings here because we're going to do that in Adobe Dimension. So from here, let's go to the asset export. If you don't have it, you can go to the windows and select asset export and make sure to export it as a GLTF file. Click on export. Right now I have one here, but I'm going to create a new folder, the test folder, and I'm going to select it, click on select folder, and there it is. And now we can open up Adobe Dimension, and the first thing we're going to need to do is set up the canvas size. You can click on here somewhere, and you can see here the canvas size. I'm going to go with 1920 by 1080, and as you can see the artboard size is really huge, so here I can decrease it and select a different percentage, press and hold space, and just drag it into the center. Let's go and select the plane, press and hold the scroll button and arrange it. I'm also going to increase the size of the plane, press and hold shift, increase it, and I'm going to rotate it 90 degree angles. Bring it up, press and hold the right mouse button and rotate it. Let's go to the color here and I'm going to change it up, click on it. And I'm going to make it something more lighter, add a little bit of color in it. And let's go back with the plane and let's go to the convert to standard model, click on it and click and let's select the background click on open and here you can scale it up if you want also make sure to link it so it's going to scale in uniform scroll out and now let's go to the gltf file and i'm going to bring the asset 5 in with the bubble letter and bring it up i'm going to position it right next to the plane like so rotate it position it and i'm also going to go to the camera because I want to position this composition perfectly from the front. So I'm going to go down to the rotation, type in zero. The Y is going to be zero as well. Now you can view it perfectly from the front. I'm going to zoom it in until it's going to fit the canvas. And now we're going to set up the colors and material of the letters. So here we got the asset five folder. And for example, I'm going to select the number seven here and I'm going to double click on the thumbnail of it. And it's going to open up these settings and here I can change up the color. I'm going to select the color nuance and down here I'm going to customize the material. So I'm going to go to the roughness, type in 25 and I'm going to go to the metallic and type in 35. Now let's go up, go back and I'm going to select the number six for example. And let's go to the left on the menu here and select sample tool. And all you need to do is click on the color red letter and it's going to copy paste the color and the material. So I'm going to go back, select another one, copy paste the color and material and do the same thing with the rest. Now let's go and activate the ray tracing to make it look realistic. And this is how it's going to look rendered. Not but least, we're going to change up the light source. So I'm going to go scroll down here until you're going to find the environment lights and I'm going to select the studio key and fill light, click on it. I'm going to go to the intensity, type in 136, and now but least go to the rotation, type in minus 110, and this is how you make it. Thanks for watching.